That's why I'm starting to think that maybe there really is a chance that Seth will retain now at WrestleMania and perhaps CM Punk does get involved in that. I still think you can't discount or discredit Damian Priest. He should attempt to cash in that briefcase in one of those matches. I mean, imagine that. Imagine if, you know, after all that is said and done, night two, the dust settles, Cody and Seth are both standing there as world champions. I would love the Benoit and Eddie moment for those two. And if you have the two of them, Seth Rollins survives Drew McIntyre earlier on in the night with help from CM Punk. And now Cody wins the title in a bonkers ass bloodline match. He's celebrating. Rollins comes down to congratulate him. They share a hug. And then Damian Priest's music hits. Okay. Both champions are in the ring. What is he doing? And then maybe Rollins and Cody both are standing next to each other, watching him come down the aisle. And they're kind of looking at each other. Uh, we both have our belts here. What is he going to do? Maybe that's where you do like a Rollins heel turn or something. And then Rollins, boom, bashes Cody in the head with his title, attacks Cody, kicks him. Maybe like, maybe not even like that was the plan all along, but maybe like Seth saving himself. This guy's coming in to cash on one of us. I might as well just make it Cody, you know, and then just attacks Cody or something, puts him down, runs away with his title, and then Priest is able to win and beat Cody and win the fucking universal title. Oh my God. Something like that could happen. Uh, if they really wanted to get crazy and they wanted to do something ultra nuts. But as much as I think uh, Damian Priest definitely has a very real chance of cashing in his Money in the Bank contract at WrestleMania in some scenario against someone, don't forget, he could he could come out in that night one match. You're going to have two two champions in the ring on night one too, aren't we? So that scenario I just laid out for night two, Damian Priest technically has four opportunities to win the championship at WrestleMania. So how are you going to justify him not cashing in? It might have to be a thing where he gets injured in that ladder match. Like he goes through a ladder and they take him out in an ambulance or something. You like you have to explain why he might, especially if the tag match on night one and the bloodline rules on night two have so much going on, and the champions are so compromised in so many different moments, why would he not come out there and try to take advantage of that? So look for that on night one. Look for a swerve. Look, I mean, there's still a possibility that Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre won't even happen because Priest could cash in on night one before Rollins even gets to that match. You know, or he could come in there and cash in on fucking Roman Reigns or something. I, I cannot see that happening, but... Priest being out there with the briefcase, he either needs to attempt to cash it in or WWE needs to really explain why he didn't because he's going to have endless opportunities and they're not even talking about that much on TV. You know, if they keep cutting backstage to all of these Judgment Day segments where they're chatting with each other, how has this not come up? How is Ripley being like, bro, do you realize <laughs> that you're going to have two champions in the ring on night one? both seemingly possibly in a vulnerable situation. So you've got two opportunities right there on night one. Then on night two, you got two more opportunities because Rollins has to defend his title and Romans has to defend his. You need to be paying attention to that. Yes, you and Balor have got your own problems in that ladder match, but you better be paying attention because you could walk out of wrestling. You have Damian Priest, where we sit right now, Damian Priest has just as good a chance as Cody or Rollins or Drew or Roman of walking out of WrestleMania as the champion if he plays his cards right. So if he does not get hurt in that ladder match, if him and Balor somehow retain those tag team titles and he's all good and healthy and he sits on his ass and watches the tag match on night one and Seth and Roman defend their titles on night two and he sees the champions down and out and incapacitated multiple times, a dozen times over the span of two days and he does nothing why did he do nothing? See what I mean? So you got to consider that briefcase. That briefcase could be a huge wild card in all of this. Uh, unless WWE just feels that, yes, we, we want to belt up Damian Priest, but WrestleMania 40 is too big of a show to do that on or something. Maybe they want to save that for backlash or something like that. I don't know, but... I feel like Priest cashing in 
is a definite possibility at WrestleMania. And I feel like it would have to be for the world title. It would have to be Seth's title that Priest cashes in and grabs, you know, but then again, you do set yourself up with a with a possible scenario at the end of WrestleMania 40, Cody winning the match after one of the biggest, best stories ever told, and then you end it with Priest. They can't do that. They can't do that. That's why I think maybe Priest... Maybe Priest will already be champion by the time we get to that Cody moment. So Cody can have the moment, no threat of the briefcase because it's already been cashed in, and it's just Cody 